Hey guys, what's up? It's Ironfly Jake, and today we are here to discuss the state of Daisy. As a Daisy YouTuber, um, for many years, I took a small break here, a small break, it's actually been a little bit while, of a while, right after Daisy 1.0's release, because I was a little bit disappointed with how they handled it. And, you know, now we're here, April 2019, about to be May, and there's been a couple updates, and they've been pretty decent, apparently. I've been, I still follow the, you know, people on Twitter who are Daisy-related, of course, and a lot of people are saying the game is in a pretty good state with um, the, the good, some decent mods that are out, and state of balancing, and just, there's actually some guns that have been added. I believe there's three or four new guns, um, like the S uh, SVD, uh, the FAL, um, I believe the SKS is back, I haven't got the chance to try it. Um, so today we're here to kind of talk about how I felt coming back into the game um, after taking a break because I think it's kind of a unique scenario to have somebody I have you know uh, thousand you know thousands of hours in the game um, and just to then take a small break and come back to it and just in this realm right after 1.0 and see how things have changed. So first off, um, they've released a really cool official cinematic trailer. I believe it was around the time when Xbox finally came out um, into the 1.0 version on uh, March 27th. And it's a pretty good trailer. It's obviously, um, a lot of it's animated, so it doesn't really reflect what the game actually looks like. I would say it's a pretty close representation, and it, they just do their best to kind of show the story. I'll have that playing in the background. If you haven't seen it, it's worth watching. Um, like I said, I'll have it in the background so you can watch that. If you watch the real version, there's a little bit of narration in, uh, the language that they speak. I'm not sure which language it is. And, um, but it's cool. It's worth watching. And we're just going to discuss how I felt coming back to it after this break. So, it felt a little smoother, and it felt like there had been some decent mods released, but they're pretty server-specific. The, nothing game-changing has happened, um, unless you personally were running into some very specific game-breaking bugs. I played for about three hours today coming back after not playing for any period of time in the past two months, uh, maybe even three months. It felt good. It, it, I played on a modded server where it was like a hardcore mode, because I was, I was tired of running on, spawning on the servers where... You were given a backpack with a bunch of food and like a small pistol and a knife and a bunch of rags and all these all these materials that are somewhat satisfying to find on your own accord searching the world of Trenaris. Um Now, here's the deal. Some people really like that stuff, and there was a lot of suggestions back when DayZ was the only people controlling what you could spawn with. A lot of people were saying, hey, make us spawn with more stuff. I'm always starving, blah, blah. And so what's cool and what's part of worth noting about that, while I didn't like it, there's something out there for everybody. There, there are plenty of servers where you spawn. Um, with plenty of loot, a head start, you're not going to be starving, there's three times, four times loot, more guns, more cars, these kind of things are out there. I just got done putting um, about an hour into a, a modded server where you were, you know, one of the classic you spawn on the airfield, it's just a big gunfight, um, free-for-alls, I made a nice friend, him and I ran around, teamed up for a while. Um, it was fun, you know, you're able to go have some PvP moments if you want to just spawn in and kill some people. You can have hardcore moments on servers like Daisy Underground. I mean, I know there's other hardcore servers that have their own custom safe zones and PvP zones and trading areas. And, you know, there's something in there for everybody. You know, what you, if, you, if you think there's not enough loot, there's a server for you with extra loot. If you want to play the base game that Daisy created, there's the official servers. If you want to play the hardcore servers where, um, you know, currently a problem a lot of people have with the game, and this is still a thing, I believe... Is that when you're injured, um, sure, maybe the bolts do enough damage, but if you actually eat enough food, you heal way too quick. Um, it may take a lot of food, but the healing rate is too fast. So there's hardcore servers where they've turned that down. Um, just, I guess my only point here is there's something there for everybody. And I really saw that when I was going through downloading the mods necessary um, to join these certain specific servers. There's, of course, the Daisy Standalone Launcher, and I'm not talking about the one from the official dev team, I'm talking about the one. Uh, from the people who make the Armor 3 launcher and the old Daisy launchers. And it's really good. Supposedly, it can automatically download the mods you need. But for me, I was having issues with that. Um, but it did provide me with a list of mods each server needed. So it was not hard at all to go to the Daisy workshop, look at the four or five mods a server required, and just download those. And then immediately it works. And you can join straight from the Daisy launcher. Um, so that was really cool. You guys should check the Daisy launcher out. Daisy standalone launcher. Um, it tells you how many players are online. You can, you know, do everything normally you can do in Daisy's launcher, but it's a little bit nicer, in my opinion, than the one that's by default in the game. Um, gunplay wise, I personally thought that when one, when 1.0 came out, they were missing some key guns, such as the S, uh, SKS and the FAL. Um, and just along with the, just honestly a lot of other guns they seem to be missing, but they've added a few in enough to where the variety um, I could feel it was a little bit better. I believe the Winchester's back in the game. Um, and, you know, things like that just make me 
feel like there's enough variety to where it's a little bit more acceptable. I was pretty annoyed with the lack of weaponry coming out when 1.0 came out, but they've added some good guns in with some great animations um, and new ammo types, etc. So that is very cool, and I'm glad to see that, and I hope that continues, because that, that 1.02 update that contained some new guns, along with the 1.01 update that also contained some guns, um, those happened a couple of, like I believe a month ago and two months ago, respectively. So we're not too far, probably, from a 1.03 update um, where we could see another gun or two added. And at that point, you know, we're talking six new guns in the game. Um, you know, I think it's six, maybe four or five or six, somewhere new since, since 1.0. And that's a good amount of guns um, for variety and, you know, just some freshness into the game. And that's not the only changes. They made a lot of bug fixes, of course. And I felt like I felt those bug, fi bug fixes. Um, the game felt smooth. The only bug I ran into was a, um, if I remember right, the only bug specifically. Actually, I ran into two. There were two bugs I ran into, and I'll report those. So one of those was the... Um, I found a, there was a broken gun or damaged gun I could tell on the floor of a house. Could not pick it up. It was not. It was nowhere to be found in my inventory, and I'm not really sure why that was. And then the other bug was I created a campfire. It worked great. You know, it was raining. I I, I found a new feature. Maybe this isn't new. I don't know. Where I, like the fire went out, but I just added a little bit of kindling with my rags. I I blew it back to life. It was very very cool, very immersive, very survival feeling, and I liked that a lot. Um, on top of that. But the problem was I was trying to cook some chicken on it, you know, because I killed me a nice chicken, cut it up, had the chicken thigh ready there to put on the fire. Um, gosh, it sucks talking about chicken cooking right now because I'm on a I'm on a 24 hour fast, so I'm pretty hungry. Um, not the point though. So I sit there and I point the chicken at the fire as you do, and it kept bugging out and like it just wouldn't start the cooking process. And I don't really know why that was. I don't think it was because of the rain because the fire was still roaring away, and I don't know why that would make it to where my character sits down, aims it at the fire, and then glitches back. Like it was definitely a bug. Um, so those two need to be fixed, and I'm sure they are aware of them. If they're not, hopefully I, you know, I plan to report them. Um, mentioned on Twitter, maybe put it in the official bug report, which you guys can always do. Um, if you're thinking about giving it a try and you already own the game, I think it's totally worth giving it another try. I would launch up the Daisy standalone launcher, browse the descriptions of the servers, give a few a try. Um, maybe apply to be on the Daisy Underground. Give the hardcore servers a try if you want a challenge. The hardcore servers, while there isn't as much action. It is more satisfying when you find the food you want. And if you're one of those guys that was annoyed by the sprinting being added, um, and the whole con not the sprinting, but the concept of, you know, you have a sprint meter bar, which personally I understand why they added it, but there were definitely some decent critiques of it. And there are servers that have edited how fast it goes down, which I personally think that's the best solution is to make it go down slower because I do think the sprint bar is necessary. Reason being, you don't want to be in an infinite chase with somebody across Trinaris, considering when you spawn as a fresh spawn, I believe you can run for up to 45 minutes before you die of starvation. So that's a long time chasing somebody possibly across Trinaris in some infinite sprint match, when really the sprint match could be ended by the guy that has less weight, because if you have less weight, you can sprint longer. And so then you should be, in theory, able to catch up to somebody who weighs more. That's the concept, and it makes perfect sense. But if you're completely annoyed by that, there's plenty of servers, that, especially the ones that are like three times more loot, um, who have basically disabled the sprint bar. It just never actually goes all the way down, and you can infinitely sprint just like the game used to be. And I think that's perfectly fine, and there's times I definitely prefer to play on that. But anyways, I do think that's cool, and I think that there's just a server out there for everybody. And I'm curious, if you browse the servers and you're not finding what you want, what is it you feel like you're missing? Um, I plan on reading every single comment you guys leave on this video, so definitely leave some comments, drop some likes, let me know what you're feeling about the game, because I'm seeing people say that it's in a good state, and personally, it does feel good... I didn't, when I started playing, it wasn't like it sucked me in and made me want to just keep playing and playing and playing hours on end, but I could see getting wrapped up in the character if I found some better loot. Like I said, I was playing on a hardcore server, so maybe it was a bit too uh, hardcore for me. I mean, I, I really was actually forced. I, I found a total of a zucchini, a tomato, and some powdered milk in a period of like an hour and a half playing on the server. Um, so in the end, I ended up having to cook chicken or else I probably would have starved to death. Um, which, I mean, like that, that is the point of that server is to be hardcore and to make you find your food and work hard for it. And I, I will say when I found the zucchini, I've never been so excited to find a zucchini before, um, real life or in a game. Um, but then again, it was a little lacking in the action department and that's just what people say about the game. And, you know, like I said, th these are always, these things can change. I could have found a better server and maybe I'll, maybe I'll have a better experience next time. Uh, fun fact, when I was recording that, that was me recording a let's play I plan on starting. Um, the video is recorded, I gotta edit it and do all that stuff to it, but make sure you stick around if you want to catch a Let's Play um, in the future on the channel. Uh, for those of you who are wondering where I've been, I have been, this has been my busiest college semester yet, so I've been just absolutely hammered um, with, hammered? That sounds like completely drunk. I've been slammed, I guess is the word, 
uh, with tons of homework and just studying. It's just it's just a lot. And so this summer, I should be able to make a few more videos as long as I'm enjoying Daisy or some some other games in the survival genre, and I should have more time this summer. So. Thank you guys for watching. I really want to know what your thoughts are on the game. What did you think about the trailer? What did you think about how, you know, have you guys been playing it for these past couple months? Let me know. I want to hear your thoughts. Um, drop a like and subscribe for more Daisy content. I hope to see each and every one of you in my next video. Thanks for watching.